Back earlier this morning, we many of us actually woke up to a 3.5 magnitude earthquake at 6.01 this morning, just near Pacifica with two aftershocks. Right now, we are joined with on the phone with Keith Knudsen. He's the deputy director of the Earthquake Science Center. Good morning, Keith. Good morning. How are you? Hey, I'm doing good. Now, Pacifica, we have a couple questions on this. Pacifica is near two major fault lines, the San Gregorio fault line and the San Andreas fault line. Was this earthquake caused by a shake in both those fault lines or just one? Yeah, the San Gregorio fault is well north of this recent earthquake. The fault was very close to the San Andreas fault, although probably, it's interesting, it probably didn't occur right on it. Our preliminary, preliminary mapping, sorry, shows that it's a few kilometers west of the fault, which is interesting to us. It also didn't have the typical uh, type of motion where the two sides slide past each other. So we're going to be investigating and learning more about this, but it's, uh, it's related to the San Andreas Fault. Okay, I would love to follow up on that investigation with you as well. Now, how likely are we to see earthquakes like this along the San Andreas Fault line moving forward, especially ones like this? Well, we have um, several hundred magnitude three earthquakes in California every year. So we're likely to see many more earthquakes like this this year. Um, these kinds of events along, the San, along this part of the San Andreas have been relatively rare since the 1906 earthquake. So um, th that makes this event in particular interesting and something we'll, we'll take a look at. Thank you for sharing that. Now, what tips does the USGS give for earthquake preparations, especially for those who live along major fault lines like the San Andreas fault line? Yeah, I'd suggest two things. I'd suggest that your listeners uh, go online and search for seven steps to earthquake safety. There are a number of, of things there that people should be doing to be prepared and make sure their family and, and they and their friends have have plans for what happens when we have we eventually do have a big earthquake. You're and right. secondly secondly I'd encourage people to learn about Shake Alert, which is an earthquake early warning system that we have developed together with partners at universities in the state of California. You're right. Thank you so much for that. Now, Keith Newson, he's the deputy director of the Earthquake Science Center. Thank you so much for joining us.